Uh, good night, everybody. This is the Community Outreach Subcommittee of the Northampton Police Review Commission. Today is Monday, March 8, 2021. This meeting will be recorded. Um, we're going to call to order. Um, I'm going to do uh, the roll call for today. Uh, Carol? Here. Dan? Here. Chris? Chris is not here. Um, I saw. I just saw an email from Noah saying that Chris is not going to be able to make it. Javier here. So we have quorum for the meeting. Three out of four members. Uh, were people able to take a look to the minutes of the meetings of the past meeting? Carol. Yes. Yes. Then were you able to take a look to the minutes? Yeah, and I would move to approve. Excellent. Looking for a second. I uh, think, Carol, you're muted. So. Carol, you're muted. Oh, sorry. Uh, I second the Excellent. motion. So I'm going to count us out. Um, Carol? Yes. Dan? Yes. Javier? Yes. Minutes approved. Uh, we're going to move to public comment. Uh, please feel free to raise your hand for public comment. Uh, there is a function in the bottom of your screen if you're over your computer uh, where the reactions icon is where you can raise your hand if you want to speak in during public comment. It's going to be uh, time to three minutes. Um, if you want to call, please raise your hand so I can um, unmute you or call you. If you're on a phone, it's star, uh, star nine to raise your hand. Um, okay, I don't see anybody. Um, what what was for uh, uh, unmute from us from a phone? Dan, can you repeat it again? Uh, star nine is to raise hand. Star six is to unmute. Unmute is star six. If anybody who is over the phone wants to just unmute, go ahead and unmute themselves. Star six. Um, in start nine, it's the, the raise hand, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank you so much. Um, okay, we're gonna wait a little bit. Okay. So we're going to move from public comment into the, today's agenda. Um, so um, OK, so um, excellent. So um, hope everybody got today what I sent, what I got, what I give Noah and I, and I got from um, Sean Donovan from the Wildflower Alliance. Um, he goes into this, he, he was able to collect around 10 testimonies and he goes into this really well summarized um, writing. And I, I send that to you, Carol, Grace is not here, but he got it and then. Okay. Were you, anybody was- Was, was that just this afternoon or? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, because- Maybe uh, I can, I'll pull it up while we're talking maybe, huh? Yes, if you want, yes. So, I mean, uh, probably I'm going to try for us to meet ASIP after this meeting because mm -hmm. uh, there, there are two things that I really want to uh, want us to focus. So we were able to gather, uh, if I'm correct, then four testimonies out of the online um, form. Is that correct? Oh, nice. Uh, there are five file submissions where somebody submitted a text document. And then um, let me pull it up. I believe there are an additional five, so five different people. Excellent. 
uh, or well, might be five different people. I think so. <clears throat> Some people are anonymous in the, the responses. So we have, uh, I believe that it's five different unique experiences though, or unique responses uh, in each. Okay. Um, excellent. And th you sent that today, right, Dan? Uh, yeah, I sent like the links just to those. Um, yeah. I'm not 100% sure why. It seems like the ownership because I passed it on to the shared drive um, that the city has, it doesn't seem like it's giving us those notifications. Um, so I just wanted to like uh -huh. make sure that those are there. Okay, so um, so the online text submissions, when I when I click into it, I get those. I can see the five responses. When I click, mm -hmm. when I click into the link for the, so when I click into the online tech submissions, I get the five testimonies, right? That's, that's yeah. absolutely fine. When I click into the file submissions, I don't get anything. I get to the, to the beginning of the form. Is that, and it doesn't have a responses on the top left. No. All right. Only me... when I use the first link. All right. Let me see what happened. Okay. So, so it's, it's a pretty good that we got all these testimonies, plus the testimonies that the Wi-Fi Flyer Alliance gather. Plus, I'm create, I'm, I'm working on a spreadsheet with gathering the, going to all the minutes from public testimonies to put all that together too. Mm -hmm. As we talk, we agree that we were gonna go back even to as humanely possible because of time constraints all the way back to the the budget hearings and and try to in also the testimony that was given uh in different instances in the public hearings and also during meetings um carol yes so one of the things that i'm hoping it's uh for chris you myself and then to be able to take all to all these testimonies the ones that we got into the system and and move ahead and, and sort of try to discuss in the way that we're going to use it because the reality is that we can I, I really want to be representative of of the wide range of opinions yes and that's that's one of the things that we have talked a lot mm -hmm. um and you know we we got a wide range of opinions during the last public speaking we did we did we did so are the submissions that were posted today, which I, I can't, I'm lost in terms of finding them, but they were, they were new submissions. Yes. They weren't the ones that were read uh, into the record on Saturday. Uh, the ones that were, as far as I know, the ones that were got, uh, we got into the online form yeah. are new. Mm -hmm. Great, wonderful. So, which is really positive. Um, and as I said, I mean, we're, we're going to be drawing from a variety of instances when we have gotten public testimony. It's not, it's, it's um, the online form and the hard copy that we created. It's just one single source of testimonies, right? Mm -hmm. uh, every single public hearing, every, every single uh, public comment period in, in subcommittees and the full commission, it's source for testimony. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know we're grateful of people that have been able to to come to come forward pretty much to tell their experience positive or negative with the police department. I think that that requires a lot of courage, and and I think that's one of the reasons why we're going to move forward to try to set up to to gather all these different testimonies. Hopefully they are they were they had been um, uh, sort of gathered in a in a good way with the minutes. Of of a meeting, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna t I'm, I'm almost done with the with the budget hearing. I'm gonna move to the first and second public hearing. Uh, probably tonight. Um, are, are how what do you do? Are you extracting the testimony that's you know, like direct testimony? Or are you uh, copying pasting or uh, pretty what? much copying and pasting? I don't want to change anything. Yeah. Exactly. I, exactly. I, I don't want to change a single word. So what exactly. I'm doing is literally copy pasting. Yeah. 
so my so what I'm doing pretty much is just gathering. Mm -hmm. Uh, so so far so good. We we will see. Um. The, so the point right now, and this is a question for you, Carol. In mm -hmm. in how how do you see that we can so better use these testimonies? I mean, we talk about these testimonies being representative of the different positions within the community, mm -hmm. and maybe using those to sort of to quote. Certainly, mm -hmm. one of the things that we really want to do is to attach all these testimonies to the final document as an appendix or as an extra, like you know, as an in, as right. a extra right. part of it. Right. So when I've when I've done um, you know data analysis where where it's narrative data, yep. You know, I read through. I've usually worked with such as this group. We sit with these really um, sometimes really stunning testimonies. You know, that reveal an experience, and we decide what what the major theme is in those statements, and then we organize. You know, then you cut, then you copy and paste again until you have a couple of pages that that talk about. Um, let Let me just use it as as an example here. Um, negative experience uh, on a wellness check. Uh huh. Let, let's. This is just purely hypothetical. I know this is being recorded, so let's. Yeah. This is just just for the process, the procedure. So let's say we find a number of quotes that are personal accounts of having their apartment uh, knock on the door. You know, the police are sent out, there's two police. Somebody has obviously called 911 or called the crisis team. Uh, there are two police, they knock, they say, let us in. There are people concerned about you. You're not eating, you're barricaded. You know, we wanna to talk to you. And say it goes down in a really negative way. Um, and somebody has decided they're going to testify, provide testimony for that. If we find a series of um, of direct quotes, uh, you know, that uh, recount these bad experiences, then we, you know, we say we put them on a piece of paper under that theme, you know, negative experiences with police. Then we organize. We we all have to agree. So it's not one person on our subcommittee who's determining that that is a negative or positive, or or making some other comments that don't deal with the quality of the, you know, of the interaction. You know, we will take any theme that we think is relevant for the larger report. And then we will write a sentence in our own words, you know, like an intro, like you, you set up a paragraph, you do an intro statement that sort of alludes to the, the theme. And then you, the, you, you take the little clips. Yeah. And you give, you give an overview context and then you, you know, you copy and paste in the, the most relevant um, direct quotes. Although I really think, and we've talked before about the Brattleboro report, that it has some real strengths and it has some real weaknesses. One of the weaknesses, I think, is just, it's just they loaded it. You know, it was like a data dump. It was like a narrative data dump. Boom, 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 all, you know, so it's hard to follow. So that, you know, any writing that we do, I always say when I talk to students about making doing persuasive writing or expository writing, you've got to see yourself as sort of figuratively taking the, the hand of the reader, whoever the readers are, and guiding them through the logic of what you're saying. So that's, I think that's what we'll do. You know, that's my suggestion anyway, on how to organize narrative data. So have you, let me ask you a question, Javier. When you've, seen some of the quotations do they do they tend to align with positive experiences oh yeah they, NPD, they are... negative experiences are there other themes that come up that are is there relevant or so uh, you know I, I i'm not talking about themes but certainly I, I i can mention that what we're seeing it's really um Either, either uh, explicitly good experience, mm -hmm. or explicitly not great experience, not good experience. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, it, we can probably the good and bad experiences. We can build themes on those, right? And that's something that hopefully I'm gonna have by. We're having meetings every single day this week. 
I am aware of that, yes. So I'm going to try to have uh, by Friday all down. Mm -hmm. So you guys have the opportunity to uh, take a look over the weekend on that and we can come out and we can come out back to next Monday to this same meeting mm -hmm. to say this is what we see this is, and we start just just creating all these big themes and creating columns and getting that done during the meeting. So it's going to be a workshopping uh, meeting mm -hmm. next Monday. Right. Um, so, so what I'm, what, what is really clear, what we're seeing in, 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 in testimonies is it's sort of three different things, right? One, it's extremely, uh, clear, positive, extremely clear, negative and mid ground that they say, I don't have any ex bad or good experience, but I think that, uh, either the funding or not defunding the police should be done. And this is mm -hmm. why I think this. So mm -hmm. we have, uh, th there's going to be a lot of uh, sort of trying to figure it out. Those themes, I think is going to be important. I just said, mm -hmm. um, and that's, and that's, that's what, what, I'm, what I'm hoping to, what I'm hoping to do next Monday. Okay. That's good. Good. And then were you able to, to have the second link working? Yeah, I don't know how it got reset, but I uh, I just added everyone back as collaborators. Excellent. So if you try that second link. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, I mean, uh, uh, so this is you know we are in the in the in the in the second item in our agenda testimony update check functionality. So, then what do you think about? I'm I'm gonna have, have for, by Friday all the testimonies input in a in a spreadsheet. I will share it with all of you. With the with the uh, clarification that no, uh, this is not this is not collaborative work. It's only to take a look to them, mm -hmm. for you to take independent notes and come mm -hmm. on Monday to just to create those those uh, those themes and just um, get get it done in that way. Is that okay with you, Dan? Yeah, that seems great to me. Okay. Um, how, what, either of you were able to take a look to uh, Sean Donovan's document that he sent to us. I mean, Sean was part, he was one of the people consulted and when we did the participatory meeting in relation to the creation of the outreach document and how we were going to do outreach. So there is a lot of overlap with what, he, independently what he did with the uh, Wi-Fi Alliance. So um, hopefully you can also take a look to that for next Monday. Did it did that get posted in the share drive? No. No, no. I send it no I send oh. it today to the members of this subcommittee. Okay, I'm looking. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking. No, I send it today to, to the members of the subcommittee for uh you guys to take a look to it. Okay. So just it this is this is literally the same process that we're gonna do with all the testimonies now that we got. We're gonna take a look to it. Um, we're going to see those testimonies. Sean is still seeing, um, you know, consulting with people. They would go to the website to write their testimony fully in our uh, own, with our own questions. Unlikely that's going to happen, but he's going to try. If not, we have those testimonies in the document that he shared with us. And also he has been sharing that parts of that document through the full commission meetings and through the public hearing process. Uh, Dan, did you get that that from Noah that I sent today? Yeah, I, I've got the email. I haven't had a chance to look at it though. Okay, it's, it's fine. I mean, it follows follows in the same category that cluster, uh, taking a look at all the testimonies and after that working towards building different teams in Monday. Cool. Cool. So, um, Media outreach. Dan, uh, did you know if uh, the the Daily Hampshire Gazette was able to post something or not? Yeah, they did a um, they did like an announcement for us um, okay. for the meeting that also had that link in it. Perfect. So um, that was done only in the online edition of the Daily Hampshire Gazette. I believe so. Okay, um, but I haven't. I don't actually have like a physical copy of the Gazette, so I, I don't have it either. <laughs> I don't have it either. Okay, I mean, 
you know, if, if that it's that the best thing that we can get. And we have been sending that to a lot of different organizations. Um, so, okay. Um, so as I, so, uh, uh, let me see here. I'm having trouble with my computer. Um, in relationship to outreach, we mm -hmm. had been able to, so we now have all the testimonies. So do you know how many testimonies, like number, the final number on the online form, Dan? So we have five from the text um, and then five from the files. Okay. Um, and from so what I can to... tell, none of those people are the same Okay. two. So we have like 10, but that again, you know, there's a, a tiny margin that somebody put in a different name and we wouldn't okay. know. So we can we can review each of us can review that. Um, if 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 you just can review that um, during you know the weekend when we do this, I'm really sorry that I'm sort of damping this on you guys on on the weekend. That's but okay. It, it's the amount the the you know trying to get all these testimonies has been a lot Absolutely, of work. Yeah. Yeah. There was a question. I'm I'm just going through what you sent today. Mm -hmm looking you know we have a question in there uh about what don't we have a question about what what would be helpful yep yeah okay that's going to be another theme you know that we develop okay. great great excellent um good um so the the ongoing the ongoing strategy to be able to deploy the the online out uh, the online form and hard copy at the end of the day is anybody who who is able to get either to to the online form or to the hard copy every single city council member mm -hmm. uh, the link has been shared widely mm -hmm. um, every single member of the commission has it. We started doing the, the 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 meetings that we had had with the full commission. Um. So. Uh, so far, I think that's. That's that's sort of in, the, in you know in with the limitations that we have that we cannot work collaborative outside this meeting. Outside this meeting, we cannot do anything collaborative. So outside that, I think. Um, it's gonna. It's, we're gonna have a fair amount, a fair amount of of testimonies, and then I want to ask you, you as the co-chair of the full commission, um, and you know, with Cynthia, have talked about where you guys are seeing. Uh, besides that, I mentioned that I I would like to have all the testimonies added, uh, as a part, as a section, of the, of the final report. Have you and Cynthia talk about? It? your vision for that? Yeah, so I think for us, the most, the biggest part is to have something that's that, that we have meaningful demonstrative quotes um, woven into the actual, the actual recommendations, you know, of, you know, what are we either, you know, example you know if somebody detailed for example if somebody detailed why they really want um you know crisis non non-police crisis responders um that's a great thing to put in when we talk about crisis response right to give that context and that meaning mm -hmm. um when it gets to the sort of broader part of like the analysis of of all of these things um there we don't necessarily have like a a set protocol um, I think if we want, like, it could definitely be part of the appendix, um, you know, to reference and we can have, um, I think it gets a little unwieldy to have every statement. Um, but yeah, we, I don't think you want to, yeah, we don't, uh, do yeah, that. I, I, yeah. I don't think that's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> yeah. We could say there were seven people, there were, there were seven comments submitted that, uh, said that we need in town more places, um, that are non-locked facilities to um, seek yep. respite. When I'm just, again, I'm just being hypothetical, but you could say there were many, or there were you could count the number of comments. But yeah, it's it's too much of a narrative data dump if you try to account for every single testimony. You just pick the ones that are really 
succinct to really get to the point. So yeah. then, do you feel that, so what Carol said about um, working the major teams of, 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 of comments, is it going to be helpful for you and Cynthia to place those, those, because you're going to be able to go to different sections of different oh, right. topics and different themes. And you with Cynthia can input that in the sections that you deem uh, necessary. Is that, yeah. is that something that would be functional to your work? Yes, it would. And I think even having a section that would explain what those categories were mm -hmm. um, as Perfect. well to, to give, you know, we didn't just pull these out of nowhere, <laughs> yeah. but also to explain like what they meant. And like, even, you know, if we don't have something um, to, to put in there, I think that that's also meaningful. Um, you know, if there's, you know, there's some really powerful stuff that people have said, but it might not fit into the report itself. So I think it'd be good to have a place to acknowledge that, um, yep. you know, yeah. without necessarily turning what we write into something unintelligible. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent. And it's, it, is it useful for you if we, oh no, it's, uh, so, so the, the, the final report is going to be presented the 18 and it's gonna be reviewed the 16. Yeah. So let me see here. <sighs> this is bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what about a Sunday meeting guys? Ah! <laughs> what is, are you saying instead of, instead of money so that we would have more time? Yeah. I mean, uh, so we can we can do all work on so i can try to have every, all the testimonies by thursday night i will try we're having every single night meetings except thursday <laughs> um but that would allow us to have friday and saturday to review the doc, the material that i send you mm -hmm. sunday we would word the big themes and at least Dan and Cynthia can get on Sunday night. All uh, and I can work. We can start working. We can have like a like an hour and a half uh, work work like a workshopping that, and I can just keep working throughout the day alone, based on what we already established in the meeting, mm -hmm. and I can have that for Cynthia and Dan on Friday night. So I, I would be giving them the, the possibility at least to have Monday. And oh, I'm so sorry, Dan. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. I mean, the, the, the benefit is that I think the quotes themselves are going to sort of lend them, like, it'll be pretty clear what needs to go where. Okay. Um, so like, if I'm honest, I'm mostly just concerned about getting that like the structure of the document and getting it out um so that people can review it getting comments back feedback and then workshopping it um okay. but i think where the where the quotes go is going to be pretty evident and okay. sort of even though i think they're important um for me they're sort of the i would say they're like they're like the icing on the cake yep. the decorations um as long as everything else is in there, it's going to flow. It's going to add to it. It's going to make it even better. But at least we need that that document structure in there first. Perfect. Um, well, I think we can be helpful to you, the two of you who are editing and structuring it by doing these, as you said, Javier, the contextual comment that leads opens the paragraph before we put the quote. You know, I mean, if we can generate a few sentences like that. Then easier for Cynthia and Dan. Yeah. I've, and I've, and then make a reference. We need to make a reference in the text in the body to the the appendix where we're going to post the the actual document that we sent out, you know, with yeah. the questions. Yeah, absolutely. Um yeah, that's perfect. Um that's really good. So um this is really good. So we have a roadmap that a lot needs to happen from here to Sunday night. Um, uh, cool. 
So, Sunday. Um, Carol, what time then? What time are you available on Sunday? Uh, I don't have anything at the moment, so anytime. Yeah, I have I have a social event at two, but I can punt on that. I think afternoon would work better for me. Uh, what about f four? Sure. Is that yep. okay with you, Dan? Yeah. yeah. Try to spend two hours, maybe. Right. Yeah. Four to six. Uh, we're going to be workshopping. Perfect. And I'm going to try the latest by Friday morning to send you everybody all the in the spreadsheet okay so you, okay. you have at least uh friday per friday and saturday to take a look to it mm -hmm. um then who is the one who is going to speak at the other meeting the policies and services it's the um director for dispatch for northampton nice oh, okay. um, so she's speaking tonight i think she's already started um so I'm going to jump over there very soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. and But if you leave, we don't have quorums. So yeah. <laughs> don't hold on. <laughs> so, so hold on. Cool. So so we have a, I, I talked some notes. Uh, we know what we're doing on Sunday for to six. We're going to workshop all this. I'm going to get the material to you. And you said then that now the two links are working, right? They should be. If you give them a shot while we're all together, just to make sure. Let me take a look. Yep, perfect. I do. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, so I think this is it for today. Um, having in mind that Dan is going to go to the other subcommittee and we're missing Chris, uh, we, we wouldn't be able to keep going because we wouldn't have quorum. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think that we have touch, ba touch uh, base with every single agenda item. We have a roadmap for the next couple of days. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there anything else that anybody would like to say, Carol, Dan? We're, in terms of meeting, we're going to prioritize meeting on Sunday and getting it done. We're not going to meet on Monday, are we? Uh, no. Yeah. No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. No, I, I think I'm going to just uh, power work it through the rest of the Sunday after. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Good. Cool. So, um, well, I want... Javier, thanks for for cleaning the data, the initial cleaning. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, it's 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 you know it's it's a lot, but um, I'm trying to be thoughtful and 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 you know, we have a little of everything, and suddenly, you know, we got today an email. I, I we have got and we we have oh. We haven't talked about that, but probably we can talk about that on Sunday, which is, you know, the emails that we have gotten from people mm -hmm. with their own sort of testimony as an email to us. And that's something that maybe then you want to sort of touch base with Cynthia and how you want to deal with those. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be the same. I would I would say the same sort of approach that we've taken to the other testimony. Okay. Just pull the language out if you want. Yep. Pull the language out. So... Uh, I'm curious, I mean, in, in your review so far, Javier, have you seen, um, is most of the testimony coming in addressing the need for um, some alternative mental health response or is there any domestic violence testimony? I know we had quite a bit of DV commentary on Saturday's public hearing. So the, the DV comments are really extreme. Are they? Yeah, between... you mean the treat the treatment was extreme. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and also the position of the of the of the survivor mm -hmm. to want or not police involvement. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, even even um on last Saturday during mm -hmm. that public hearing, we have the total opposite. Absolutely, it's uh, that's, that's who felt compelled to come to that meeting, yeah. to that to that hearing. Yeah. And 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 you know. And and we and we and we and we have to be thoughtful about that sort of um, both positions, right? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, we we uh, w one of the things that we have gotten a lot in comments is uh, prof uh you know middle class upper middle class folks coming to talk in behalf of the police. Um, uh, a lot of activists and affected people coming to talk about about the need to 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 have alternative services. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's important also that we add uh, Chief Casper's testimony that there are things that th certainly I would say at least 90% of what we have talked so far, she agreed that they don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's also important because it's extremely relevant to mm -hmm. sort of to understand what we're doing. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a mixed bag, but I think that, um, we we have a consensus that our specific things more than anything uh mental health related mm -hmm. that you don't want a person with a gun right. i think i think that's the sort of the the recurring thing mm -hmm. um on the other hand we have also all this sort of um people saying that cops need training and uh, and going to this sort of sort of a cyclical uh, idea that that training works and we have to which what we we talk widely um, a lot during the commission in relation to to training um so you know it's it's, it's a mixed mix bag you're gonna see it. <laughs> it it really is yeah yeah cool so i want to entertain a motion to adjourn mm -hmm. i move that we adjourn and i second mm -hmm. excellent uh, i'm gonna count this out carol Yes. <laughs> Dan? Yes. Javier? Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for all the right. work. All right. Keep and... up the good work. Yeah. See, See ya. Are you ready? All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.